this will sort you out. This is my entire oeuvre of nature poetry. If you don't know what an oeuvre is, it's every nature poem I've ever written. So here we go. Make yourselves comfortable. This might go on for a bit. This is a dodgy piece of anthropomorphism or something like that. I can't remember which way the syllables go. Who gives a fuck? So anyway, so this is cool. I know what the birds are thinking and I understand that look in their eye. I know. I've looked into their eyes and I've watched how they move. They're thinking, we used to be dinosaurs. We used to be huge and ignorably vast. Yet look at our small, scrawny bodies now. How far we have fallen. Once we ruled like kings and now worms and seed. Worms and sea. Yes, but I have seen them in their million year cringe. They're thinking, yes, we can fly, but then we were dinosaurs and that was something else. And now what? Worms and sea. Worms and sea. God, it's embarrassing. I'm depressed. My parents were depressed. My children will be depressed. That sparrow, depressed. That eagle, depressed. That paradise bird in that photo, inconsolable. Once we rode like lions and now worms and seed. Worms and seed. But beware humans. Now you rule like the lions once ruled. From Spain to China, from England to Botswana. But be aware, your age will pass. One year, day you will have been for millions of years some shrunken, wizened species, some vole or shrew, with no future except as some dull or shrew, so cut down our trees and poison the air, destroy this earth as you're destroying it now, and it's dulls and shrews, dulls and shrews, dulls and shrews for you forever. But I can translate the bird song. I know what the tits are twittering. The crows are cawing, the owls are hooting, the hawks are shrieking. They're calling thousand shrews, thousand shrews, thousand shrews for you forever. Thank you.